Hi friends, today we are making a refreshing Malaysian dish called Popia Basa. Popia is a unique Malaysian spring roll and basa means wet. Let's dive right in. First, we will prepare some peanuts. Roast the peanuts in a pan for 3 to 4 minutes. Once they are sufficiently cool, rub them like this with your hands to remove the skin. Then grind them coarsely in a dry grinder. Next, we will prepare the popia sauce. This is the most important part of popia basa as it gives the taste to the otherwise bland vegetables. Cut 4 small onions and 4 cloves garlic. Add half teaspoon salt. 1 tablespoon vegetarian shrimp paste, quarter cup water, and blend the ingredients until you get a fine paste. Heat 2 tablespoons cooking oil in a pan. Add 2 to 3 tablespoons chili paste and stir on medium heat until oil separates about 5 minutes. This chili paste is homemade and I will provide the link to the recipe in the description. Add the blended ingredients and continue to saute for another 5 minutes. Take 1 tablespoon tamarind and add quarter cup water to extract some tamarind juice. Add the tamarind juice to the sauce. Also add 2 tablespoon coconut sugar, 2 tablespoon brown sugar and 3 tablespoons chili sauce. Allow to cook on low heat until the sauce thickens. We will also prepare a corn flour slurry by mixing 1 tablespoon corn flour with 2 tablespoons water. Add this slurry and simmer until the sauce thickens. Set aside until the sauce cools down completely. Meanwhile, we will prepare the raw vegetables that are going into the spring rolls. Usually, cucumber, carrots, yam beans or jacama, and bean sprouts are used. Take some bean sprouts and blanch them quickly in boiling water. Bean sprouts will add proteins to the spring rolls. Grate the carrot, also the cucumber, and jacama or yam beans. Now comes the fun part, assembling the popia basa. We are using ready-made Vietnamese spring roll wrappers to save time. Dip the spring roll skin in water quickly to soften it. We have to work quickly as the spring roll skin will become sticky and difficult to handle. Spread about 1 tablespoon popia sauce on the spring roll skin. You can add more according to your preference for spiciness. Sprinkle 1 teaspoon pounded peanuts, then half teaspoon fried onions. Add your julienne vegetables. You can add as much as you prefer. Folding the popia basa wrapper requires a bit of practice. Gently fold the sides of the popia skin inwards, then roll it up tightly. You want it to be secure, but not too tight, 
as the popular skin is delicate. Place all the completed popia on a serving dish. Spread some popia sauce on top. Then sprinkle some pounded peanuts and fried onions as garnishing. Enjoy the fresh spring rolls with afternoon tea. Take a bite and enjoy the burst of fresh flavors and texture of crunchy vegetables. The sweet and savory sauce ties everything so well together. Next time you're looking for something cool and delicious, try making pupia basa. If you have any variations or feelings you love, leave a comment below and let's share some pupia basa love. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more delicious recipes. Until next time, happy cooking!